Costa Rica, officially the Republic of Costa Rica, is a country in Central America, bordered by Nicaragua to the north, Panama to the southeast, the Pacific Ocean to the west, the Caribbean Sea to the east, and Ecuador to the south of Cocos Island. It has a population of around 4.5 million, of whom nearly a quarter live in the metropolitan area of the capital and largest city, San Jose. Costa Rica was sparsely inhabited by indigenous people before coming under Spanish rule in the 16th century. It remained a peripheral colony of the empire until independence as part of the short-lived First Mexican Empire, followed by membership in the United Provinces of Central America, from which it formally declared sovereignty in 1847. Since then, Costa Rica has remained among the most stable, prosperous, and progressive nations in Latin America. Following a brief but bloody civil war, it permanently abolished its army in 1949, becoming the first of only a few sovereign nations without a standing army. Costa Rica has consistently performed favorably in the Human Development Index, placing 62nd in the world as of 2012, among the highest of any Latin American nation. It has also been cited by the United Nations Development Program as having attained much higher human development than other countries at the same income levels with a better record on human development and inequality than the median of the region. Its rapidly developing economy, once heavily dependent on agriculture, has diversified to include sectors such as finance, pharmaceuticals, and ecotourism. Costa Rica is known for its progressive environmental policies, being the only country to meet all five criteria established to measure environmental sustainability. It was ranked fifth in the world and first in the Americas in the 2012 Environmental Performance Index. It was twice ranked the best performing country in the New Economics Foundation's Happy Planet Index, which measures environmental sustainability, and identified by the NEF as the greenest country in the world in 2009. In 2007, the Costa Rican government announced plans for Costa Rica to become the first carbon-neutral country by 2021. In 2012, it became the first country in the Americas to ban recreational hunting. History Pre-Columbian period historians have classified the indigenous people of Costa Rica as belonging to the intermediate area, where the peripheries of the Mesoamerican and Andean native cultures overlapped. More recently, pre-Columbian Costa Rica has also been described as part of the Isma Colombian area. The oldest evidence of human occupation in Costa Rica is associated with the arrival of various groups of hunter-gatherers at about 10,000 to 7,000 years BC, with ancient archaeological evidence located in the Turrialba Valley. There was presence of Clovis culture-type spearheads and arrows from South America, which opens the possibility that in this area two different cultures coexisted. Agriculture became evident in the populations that lived in Costa Rica about 5,000 years ago. They mainly grew tubers and roots. For the first and second millennia BCE there were already settled farming communities. These were small and scattered, although the transition from hunting and gathering to agriculture as the main livelihood in the territory is still unknown. The earliest use of pottery known appears around 2000 to 3000 BCE. Shards of pots, cylindrical vases, platters, goods and other forms of vases decorated with grooves, prints, and some modeled after animals have been found. The impact of indigenous peoples on modern Costa Rican culture has been relatively small compared to other nations. Since the country lacked a strong native civilization to begin with, most of the native population was absorbed into the Spanish-speaking colonial society through intermarriage, except for some small remnants, the most significant of which are the Bribri and Baruca tribes who still inhabit the mountains of the Cordillera de Talamanca. In the southern part of Costa Rica, near the frontier with Panama, Spanish colonization accounts differ as to whether the name La Costa Rica was first applied by Christopher Columbus, 
who sailed to the eastern shores of Costa Rica during his final voyage in 1502, and reported the presence of vast quantities of gold jewelry among the natives, or by the conquistador Gil González de Villa, who landed on the west coast in 1522, met with the natives, and appropriated some of their gold. During most of the colonial period, Costa Rica was the southernmost province of the Captaincy General of Guatemala, which was nominally part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, but which, in practice, operated as a largely autonomous entity within the Spanish Empire. Costa Rica's distance from the capital in Guatemala, its legal prohibition under Spanish law to trade with its southern neighbors in Panama, then part of the Viceroyalty of New Granada, and the lack of resources, such as gold and silver, made Costa Rica into a poor, isolated, and sparsely inhabited region within the Spanish Empire. Costa Rica was described as the poorest and most miserable Spanish colony in all America by a Spanish governor in 1719. Another important factor behind Costa Rica's poverty was the lack of a significant indigenous population available for encomienda, which meant most of the Costa Rican settlers had to work on their own land, preventing the establishment of large haciendas. For all these reasons, Costa Rica was, by and large, unappreciated and overlooked by the Spanish crown and left to develop on its own. The circumstances during this period are believed to have led to many of the idiosyncrasies for which Costa Rica has become known. While concomitantly setting the stage for Costa Rica's development as a more egalitarian society than the rest of its neighbors, Costa Rica became a rural democracy, with no oppressed mestizo or indigenous class. It was not long before Spanish settlers turned to the hills, where they found rich volcanic soil and a milder climate than that of the lowlands. Independence like the rest of Central America, Costa Rica never fought for independence from Spain. On September 15, 1821, after the final Spanish defeat in the Mexican War of Independence, the authorities in Guatemala declared the independence of all of Central America. That date is still celebrated as Independence Day in Costa Rica, even though, technically, under the Spanish Constitution of 1812 that had been readopted in 1820, Nicaragua in Costa Rica had become an autonomous province with its capital in Leon. Upon independence, Costa Rican authorities faced the issue of officially deciding the future of the country. Two bands formed, the imperialists, defended by Cartago and Heredia cities which were in favor of joining the Mexican Empire, and the republicans represented by the cities of San Jose and Alajuela who defended full independence. Because of the lack of agreement on these two possible outcomes, the first civil war of Costa Rica occurred. The Battle of Ocamago, which took place on the hill of Ocamago, located in the Central Valley in 1823. The conflict was won by the Republicans and as a consequence, the city of Cartago lost its status as the capital, which moved to San Jose. In 1838, long after the Federal Republic of Central America ceased to function in practice, Costa Rica formally withdrew and proclaimed itself sovereign. The considerable distance and poor communication routes between Guatemala City and the Central Plateau where most of the Costa Rican population lived then and still lives now, meant the local population had little allegiance to the federal government in Guatemala. From colonial times to now, Costa Rica's reluctance to become politically tied with the rest of Central America has been a major obstacle to efforts for greater regional integration. Economic growth coffee was first planted in Costa Rica in the early 19th century and was first shipped to Europe in 1843, soon becoming Costa Rica's first major export. Coffee production would remain Costa Rica's principal source of wealth well into the 20th century. Most of the coffee exported was grown around the main centers of population in the central plateau and then transported by ox cart to the Pacific port of Punta Arenas. Since the main market for the coffee was in Europe, it soon became a high priority to develop a transportation route from the central plateau to the Atlantic Ocean. 
For this purpose, in the 1870s, the Costa Rican government contracted with U.S. businessman Minor C. Keith to build a railroad to the Caribbean port of Limin. Despite enormous difficulties with construction, disease, and financing, the railroad was completed in 1890. Most Afro-Costa Ricans, who constitute about 3% of the country's population, descend from Jamaican immigrants who worked in the construction of that railway. U.S. Convicts, Italians and Chinese immigrants also participated in the construction project. In exchange for completing the railroad, the Costa Rican government granted Keith large tracts of land and a lease on the train route, which he used to produce bananas and export them to the United States. As a result, bananas came to rival coffee as the principal Costa Rican export, while foreign-owned corporations began to hold a major role in the national economy. 20th century historically, Costa Rica has generally enjoyed greater peace and more consistent political stability compared with many of its fellow Latin American nations. Since the late 19th century, however, Costa Rica has experienced two significant periods of violence. In 1917-19, General Federico Tinoco Gran Ados ruled as a military dictator until he was overthrown and forced into exile. The unpopularity of Tinoco's regime led, after he was overthrown, to a considerable decline in the size, wealth, and political influence of the Costa Rican military. In 1948, José Figueres Ferrer led an armed uprising in the wake of a disputed presidential election between the previous president Rafael Ángel Calderón, Guardia and Otilio Ulate Blanco. With more than 2,000 dead, the resulting 44-day Costa Rican civil war was the bloodiest event in Costa Rica during the 20th century. The victorious rebels formed a government junta that abolished the military altogether, and oversaw the drafting of a new constitution by a democratically elected assembly. Having enacted these reforms, the junta relinquished its power on November 8, 1949, to the new democratic government. After the coup d'état, Figueres became a national hero, winning the country's first democratic election under the new constitution in 1953. Since then, Costa Rica has held 14 presidential elections, the latest in 2014. All of them have been widely regarded by the international community as peaceful and transparent. With uninterrupted democracy dating back to at least 1948, the country is the region's most stable. Geography Costa Rica is located on the Central American Isthmus, lying between latitudes 8 degrees and 12 degrees north, and longitudes 82 degrees and 86 degrees west. It borders the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean, with a total of 1,290 kilometers of coastline, 212 kilometers on the Caribbean coast and 1,016 kilometers on the Pacific. Costa Rica also borders Nicaragua to the north and Panama to the south-southeast. In total, Costa Rica comprises 51,100 square kilometers plus 589 square kilometers of territorial waters. The highest point in the country is Cerro Chiripo, at 3,819 meters. It is the fifth highest peak in Central America. The highest volcano in the country is the Irazu volcano and the largest lake is Lake Arenal. There are 14 known volcanoes in Costa Rica, and six of them have been active in the last 75 years. The country has also experienced at least 10 earthquakes of magnitude 5.7 or higher in the last century. Costa Rica also comprises several islands. Cocos Island stands out because of its distance from the continental land mass, 300 miles from Pantarinas. But Calero Island is the largest island of the country. Over 25% of Costa Rica's national territory is protected by SINAC, which oversees all of the country's protected areas. 
Costa Rica also possesses the greatest density of species in the world. Climate Because Costa Rica is located between 8 and 12 degrees north of the equator, the climate is tropical year-round. However, the country has many microclimates depending on elevation, rainfall, topography, and by the geography of each particular region. Costa Rica's seasons are defined by how much rain falls during a particular period. The year can be split into two periods, the dry season known to the residents is summer, and the rainy season, known locally as winter. The summer or dry season goes from December to April, and winter or rainy season goes from May to November, which almost coincides with the Atlantic hurricane season, and during this time, it rains constantly in some regions. The location receiving the most rain is the Caribbean slopes of the central Cordillera Mountains, with an annual rainfall of over 5,000 mm. Humidity is also higher on the Caribbean side than on the Pacific side. The mean annual temperature on the coastal lowlands is around 27 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius in the main populated areas of the central Cordillera, and below 10 degrees Celsius on the summits of the highest mountains. Flora and fauna Costa Rica is home to a rich variety of plants and animals. While the country has only about 0.1% of the world's land mass, it contains 5% of the world's biodiversity. Around 25% of the country's land area is in protected national parks and protected areas, the largest percentage of protected areas in the world. Costa Rica has successfully managed to diminish deforestation from some of the worst rates in the world from 1973 to 1989, to almost zero by 2005. One national park, the Corquivado National Park, is internationally renowned among the ecologists for its biodiversity and is where visitors can expect to see an abundance of wildlife. Corcovado is the one park in Costa Rica where all four Costa Rican monkey species can be found. These include the white-headed capuchin, the mantled howler, the endangered Jeffroy's spider monkey and the Central American squirrel monkey. Found only on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica and a small part of Panama, and considered endangered until 2008, when its status was upgraded to vulnerable. Deforestation, illegal pet trading, and hunting are the main reasons for its threatened status. Torchiguero National Park, the name Torchiguero can be translated as full of turtles, is home to spider, howler and white-throated capuchin monkeys, the three-toed sloth and two-toed sloth, 320 species of birds, and a variety of reptiles. The park is recognized for the annual nesting of the endangered green turtle, and is the most important nesting site for the species. Giant leatherback, hawksbill, and loggerhead turtles also nest there. The Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve is home to about 2,000 plant species, including numerous orchids, over 400 types of birds and more than 100 species of mammals can be found there. Over 840 species of birds have been identified in Costa Rica, as is the case in much of Central America. The avian species in Costa Rica are a mix of North and South American species. The country's abundant fruit trees, many of which bear fruit year-round, are hugely important to the birds, some of whom survive on diets that consist only of one or two types of fruit. Some of the country's most notable avian species include the resplendent quetzal, scarlet macaw, three-wattled bellbird, bur-necked umbrella bird, and the keel-billed toucan. The Instituto Nacional de Biodiversidad is allowed to collect royalties on any biological discoveries of medical importance. Costa Rica is a center of biological diversity for reptiles and amphibians, including the world's fastest-running lizard, the spiny-tailed iguana.